Hello guys, welcome to Literary Tutorials by Anisha Mangla. Today, I will be posting few questions and answers which will be helping you in your exam. So, start with it. First one is, which is the autobiography of Cardinal Newman? The answer is, Apologia Pro Vita Sul. Next question is, who is the editor of anthology Georgian Poetry? Answer is Edward Marsh. Next is, who are the high modernists? Who are known as high modernists? Joyce, Eliot and Wolf. The, com the Committee of Minens is associated with its Harold Pinter. Now you have to match the columns, right? So this um, on one side it is the name of the work and the other side it is the name of the writer. So under the net and equal music Fawn Hill V. So the answer is under the net it is written by Iris Modoc and equal music by Vikram Sate Fawn Hill by Dylan Thomas and V it is written by Thomas Pension uh, under the net and equal music and V, they are the novels, whereas Fawn Hill is a poem. Okay, the next one is um, match the columns. It is about the protagonist and their work. On the one side it is protagonist and the other side is work. Jim Dixon, Trice, Stephen Didalus, Wasteland, Jim, a portrait of the artist of young men. The answer is, Jim Dixon is the protagonist in Lucky Jim, Triasis is the protagonist in Wasteland, Stephen Didalus is the protagonist in a portrait of the artist of a young man. Next one, The F Third World is an autobiography by, so whose autobiography is Third World? So, the answer is David Deches. How many times Robert Frost was awarded Putlizer? Prize. He was awarded the Putlizer Prize for four times. Next, Arnold Dover's Beach is addressed to. To whom is Arnold's Dover Beach addressed? It is addressed to his wife. Next is, who said, I don't like old ladies who guzzle? Who? Guzzle. So who said that? It was Virginia Woolf who said that I don't like the old ladies who guzzle. Next is name seven pessimistic poet of Victorian age. So who are the seven pessimistic poet of Victorian age? They are Arnold Fitzgerald. James Thompson, Swinburne, Ernest Dawson, Hausman, Hardy. Okay, so um, from this particular question, you can get one more question out, out of it. You can get to know that these all particular writers, these all writers belong to Victorian age, right? 
So next one is in how many parts was Don Quixote by Cervantes published? So again, you can get to know about two questions that Don Quixote was published by Cervantes and it was published in two parts. Now again, one more thing you can get to know about this is that uh, the two parts that were published is first one is in 1605 and second one is in 1615. Next one. Who is Blake's first biographer? First biographer of Blake was Alexander Gilcher, Gilchrist. Alexander Gilchrist. Okay. Moving on to the next one. Okay. So this particular uh, question, 14th question. From this question, you can get to know about three more things. Okay, so you have to um, arrange this in chronological order. Oliver Twist, David Copperfield, Great Expectation, Tales of Two Cities. So what is the answer? So we will look the answer. We will get to know about two more things. First, that all of these texts are written by Charles Dickens. And second thing is are their dates. Okay. And the dates are Oliver Twist. It was written in 1837. David Copperfield. It was written in 1849. A Tale of Two Cities. It was written in 1859. And Great Expectation. It was written in 1861. Next one is Apithalium uh, written by Spencer. What is it? It is a nuptial song. The theater, the Swan Theater. When was the Swan Theater built? It was built in 1594. It was built in 1594. Next question is the original version of Pope's poem, The Rape of Locke, contains how many lines? In first two cantos and the later two cantos. So total there were the five cantos. Uh, so the question is, in how many uh, lines are the first two cantos uh, include and what in the last five lines so in first two cantos 334 lines are included and in total five cantos 794 lines are included so the next question is who founded the center for contemporary cultural studies at brigham university in 1964 so this particular uh, center was founded by Richard Hoggart. Richard Hoggart. A 19th question is, the arms in the men comes from dash. This particular title comes from the opening word of Virgil's Enid. Uh, and in Latin, it means Arma Vimorinke Cano, which in English, if you translate, it means of arms and the man I think. Next. Next question is, in how many period can Chaucer's work be classified? In how many periods? Can you cl uh, classify the Chaucer's work? So we can uh, classify it in three periods, or you can talk. You can say that three languages: French, Italian, and English. Thirteen fifty nine to seventy two, thirteen seventy three to eighty six, thirteen eighty six or eighty seven to fourteen hundred. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन हाउ मेनी लाइन हाउ मेनी लाइन्स डू प्रोलोग ऑफ कैंटबरी टेल हैज सो इट हैज एट फिफ्टी एट so who said alfred tennyson is saddest of the all english poet so which particular writer has mentioned that tennyson is the saddest of all english poet so it was a t s eliot who said that next one is what was dante's view about metaphysical poetry metaphysical poetry very was a very uh, good poetry very popular one and for this dante says that uh, metaphysical poetry are the poetry in which thoughts are transmuted into the imagery of dreams okay next question is which book of lewis carroll was banned इन चाइना कौन सी बुक है लुइस कैरोल की जो बैन की गई थी चाइना में तो आंसर इज एलिस इन वंडरलैंड एलिस इन वंडरलैंड वॉज बैंड इन चाइना इन हाउ मेनी प्लेस ऑफ शेक्सपियर दस घोस्ट अकर और अपियर्स एंड वी हैव टू नेम दैट नेम द प्लेस a name the place and um, the number okay so uh, four times the four times uh, ghosts appear in shakespeare's different plays and the name are julius caesar richard iii hamlet macbeth next question is who has proposed or given us the word heteroglossia heteroglossia it was given by bakhtin bakhtin has given this particular word okay moving on to our next particular question the question is which work of coleridge is mentioned twice directly in mary shelley's frankenstein कौन सा ऐसा आ, उनका वर्क है कॉलरेज का जो डायरेक्टली मेंशन किया गया है मतलब विच इज वेरी वेल कंसीडर्ड इन मेरी शेलीज फ्रैंकिस्ट द राइम ऑफ एंशियंट मैरिनर नेक्स्ट इज हु हैज रिटन द पर्टिकुलर दिस वर्क ऑन पोइट्री इन जनरल एंड इट वाज रिटन इन 1818 so this particular text has been written by william hazlitt which is the first novel of george eliot george eliot which is also known as mary n evans right so her work is first work is adam b d and it is written in 1859 it is written in 1859 what is the subtitle of harry's test uh generally it is uh, known as test when we talk about if we say it test otherwise the full name is test of d arborvillis so what is the subtitle the subtitle is a pure women faithfully presented a pure women faithfully present so in june 2007 dash was awarded men's booker international prize so who was awarded the man booker's international prize in june 2007 so he is a south african famous writer chinua ashby chinua ashby in which work of milton do we find epic simile it's paradise lost in paradise lost we find that 
Next is, whose poetry is categorized by a style heavenly loaded with sensuality? So, whose poetry have the characteristics of sensuality? It is John Keats. In Hunt's essay, he has written the essay, Three Young Poet. Hunt's essay, Three Young Poet. So, who, uh, who are the three poets mentioned in this particular text? Essay, we can say. And they are Shelley, Keats, Reynold. Shelley, Keats and Reynold. So, next one is, mention the name of two notable members of lost generation. So who are the, um, there are many, one, many, and out of them, we have to mention only two. So they are Scott and Hemingway. Scott and Hemingway. Last, uh, last of this page is, what is the time period of Bloomsbury Group? So we have to mention the time period. So it is 1906 to 19. 30. Next is, we have to arrange in order. So, Women's Suffrage Act, Education Act, National Insurance Act, Old Age Pension Act. So, Old Age Pension Act was written in 1908. National Insurance Act, it was written in 1911. Women's Suffrage nine, came in 1918. Education Act came in 1918 again. So, next is, we have to enlist the works included in Four quadrants, four quadrants were written in 1944 by T.S. Eliot. So T.S. Eliot's work, four quadrants, written in 1944, we have to in tell that how we have to name the text included in them. So, Burnt Norton, East Carrier, The Dry Savages, and little Giddick. The last question of this particular um, video is Beowulf contains how many lines? It contains 3182 lines and this particular text Beowulf has been divided into two parts. Thank you for watching my video. If you like it, do subscribe it. Thank you.